Welcome. This is Shelley with the Putnam County District Library and the Guiding Ohio Online Grant. This week we are going to um, look at Google a little bit more. We've looked at them in the past and we've looked at how you can set up your folders and create different, um, make them different colors, how you can organize them, how you can star them. And this week we're going to look at um, the Google Drive in a little bit different way. We're going to look at something that's referred to as how you can tag. Um, the file folder system for Google, just a little bit of an explanation here, is kind of, people believe it's kind of set up like a tree-like structure, but actually the files and folders are really stored in like a massive database with indexes to the address of the items and the files themselves. So this allows, and you have the ability then to do what is called tagging. So in other words, I can have a file or a folder I'm going to take this over and I'm going to go to my drive here real quick so you can see a little bit what I'm talking about. I have files and, and folders both listed here, folders here at the top, files down below, and I have those listed. And then what I can do is instead of having just maybe all my information, say, in one folder, say there might be a reason that I would maybe want to have information in my work folder, as well as, let's say, in um, like the kids info bits folder or something. So I want, my, I want the information to be able to be found in two locations but I want them to be the same actual files and folders that I'm working with. To do that, what you can do is when you click on a file or a folder, I'm going to, I'm going to demonstrate this with a folder. I'm going to click on a folder and now notice my folder is highlighted. When my folder is highlighted, if I do my shift Z, by doing the shift Z, that is what is allowing me to do what is called a tagging. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to click on my drive and I'm going to say, you know what, let's do this and let's click on work as well. And notice now when I click here on work, what has happened is, is I have the ability to click on add. So when I look back here at my drive, what I see is I see my kids info bits folder, but when I click on work, I double click open it, it up. I also have kids info bits here. Now what I had done prior to um, starting my session here, I'm going to go back here to my drive real quick, is I had, and you notice over here, I have my um, information, my, my detailed information showing up. I'm going to I'm going to close this and hide the details for a minute because let's say for example, right now I have work, with kids info bits and if I go back a screen I have info bits here as well. Let's say for some reason or other I no longer want to have my kids info bits here in work. I cannot simply just go to work the work folder and delete it or it's going to take it completely away from both locations. So what I need to do is when I um, control click or right click depending on which type of device you might be on, I can go down here to view details. And that's what I had showing up over here on the side before. Notice when I look at my view details, what I have here is it shows, okay, here's my drive. And notice how this icon looks. That's telling me, okay, that's one location. And work is a second location. So I have this showing up in two different locations. I can simply click here on X next to work. I no longer want it in that folder. And when I do that, it now goes away. And when I go back to my drive, I still have my kids info bits here as well. So I'll try this. I'll just do, demonstrate one more time here what I was talking about. I will go in. If I click on let's let's do this this time and let's say I want to take my word page for example notice over here I still have my details showing up word page notice the only place it's located right now is is in my drive if I again do a shift Z I have the option of now I can tag my this word page folder to another location as well so I'm going to click on my drive 
And I'm going to say, okay, I want a copy of it in work as well. When I click on work and I say add, now what happens? I go back to my word page folder and notice I've got it in my drive and I have it in work. So this can become in very handy, especially um, when you are um, sharing information with others and maybe you have your own system and your own filing way of doing things and someone else has a different way. This allows you to create and tag and but then you're always working on the same document. So it's not going to matter whether I go into my word page here or if I go into word you know if I if I go into my word page here uh, uh, in this folder or if I go into my word page within my work folder I am working on the same exact document because of like we talked about before the the structure of Google is constantly working on that one location even though it appears like it's in two places so that is our shortcut and tip to um, highlight this week for um, our library session for their technology. Next week, we are going to look at something that is referred to as Mercury Reader, which is an easy way to um, actually read articles online. Hope everyone has a good week, and we will talk to you soon.